Hey, I'm Curtis Stone and I've got a great GMC trade secret for all of you adventurous bakers out there. This one is all about yeast, so it's perfect if you're going to bake bread. Now, the most common form of yeast is this. It's the active dry yeast that you get in the little packages. Of course you can get it fresh. In fact, it's a microorganism that is all around us. It's in the atmosphere. But yeast, the important thing to know is it's alive. All right, what we're going to do is pour it into a little bowl. Now, the reason it's important to know that it's alive is because we have to make it active. All right, and I'll explain to you why in just a moment. You pour your yeast into a bowl, and then you need water. The water has to be at the right temperature. It's got to be over 100 degrees and no more than 115 degrees. So I've got mine with a little thermometer in it at 110, which is just right. I'm going to pour my water straight over the yeast. Okay, now... The reason that yeast is so important to us is once it becomes active, what happens is it releases carbon dioxide. Now when the carbon dioxide is released, that gas expands things. So if you put it into a bread dough, what happens is the yeast begins to expand, which makes things much lighter. So we put the yeast in with the water and we're going to watch it and what you're going to see is it'll start to develop really slowly. Now what yeast feeds on is sugar. All right, so you can put in some natural sugar or you can put in a little bit of honey. I'm going to put in just, let's say, a teaspoon of honey. Okay, now that's quite a lot for that amount of yeast, but I want to show you a bit of a reaction. So I'm just going to give that a really light mix. And what you'll see is the yeast becomes super active because it's eating that sugar. Okay, which means it's going to do exactly what I just said. Let off the carbon dioxide and start to expand. Now, if you look at this bowl right next to it, that's exactly what I did. I added the yeast and the water. That's it. In this one, I added the sugar. So you can see how different it becomes as soon as you add that sugar. It really starts to feed. Now, the only things that you can really do wrong when, you, when you're dealing with yeast is if you have your water too hot, then you're going to kill it. If you put salt anywhere near the yeast, that's also going to kill it. So the most important thing is keep salt out of your dough and don't have your water too hot. Give it some food in this instance for our yeast some sugar. It's really simple to use, you've just got to get those couple of fundamentals right. I'm Curtis Stone and that's your GMC trade secret.